And a reminder tonight, any disabled voter who cannot stand in line for a long period of time, people 65 and older, they can vote from their car. News 19's Alicia Niaves explains. This week, the numbers has been crazy. Monday, over 1,000 people voted at Richland County Election Headquarters. Numbers slowly grew through the week to an estimated 1,600 Friday. I think a lot of people, voters were waiting on the South Carolina debate. Some were waiting on other reasons, see if any other candidates going to drop out before um, they come and vote absentee. So a lot of different reasons that our numbers picked up. If lines continue to look like this Saturday, officials are reminding the public of a curbside voting feature for the elderly and disabled. Each precinct will have designated spots to park for this service. Poll managers will be monitoring the curbside voting area every 15 minutes and will approach your car to get your information and bring you the ballot. We'll get, uh, get the ID, we'll get the, we'll bring the application and bring the ballot to the BMD. They'll come out there and vote and they vote their choices and then we, they put it back into the envelope and we bring it back here and scan their ballots. Only the voter is allowed in the car while voting is in progress, unless they need assistance. Other passengers in the vehicle will not be allowed to vote curbside unless they qualify. The people that's not designated as a curbside for fit those reasons for curbside, then they have to step out of the car and they have to get in line. Curbside voting does not require a disability placard. Alicia Niavis, News 19, WLTX. If you would like more information on how to find your precinct and what you should take with you to vote tomorrow, head to our website, WLTX.com, where we've answered your most popular question.